Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Today's video was going to be all about fall transitional looks. Now this video was hard for me to make as I don't often think, how do I take my summer pieces and make them last into autumn? But I decided to get my pieces out and put together five looks for you that I think really showcase how to take outfits, tweak them very slightly, and make them work perfectly for cooler weather. The theme you're going to see here, color, layers, and interesting accessories. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into look number one. Now look number one is this easy breezy, casual, everyday look. It was all about subversive basics here to create visual interest without having to sweat. First up, we have this cutout white ribbed tank top from Kingsley. Now, if you don't know Kingsley, it's an incredible brand that is just for the queer, black, femme people. It's for everyone, but just, it really celebrates those aspects, and I love that. The pieces are so incredible, and actually, I'm wearing a Kingsley tank top right now, and let me show you what this guy is doing. So if I turn around a little bit, you can see that this tank top has the entire back exposed, and I've added just a Kendra Scott neck piece just to create, you know, an interesting look, but... That's what Kingsley is all about, taking pieces that we're familiar with and reworking them to make them just interesting again. Decided to pair that tank top with this pair of barrel leg light wash denim from Alexander Wang that I purchased from Bloomingdale's like five years ago. And what I liked is that the waistband was cut off and distressed, which was giving Mariah Carey in the Heartbreaker video. With the Converse, these were the J.W. Anderson release in the orange and pink glitter. And I just liked how there's so much visual interest, yet no one piece is competing with one another. But there's really this element of kind of deconstruction that I love. So how do we transition this look for fall? Well, first thing is we're going to add this sleeveless trench coat from the Frankie shop. I love the overcut shoulder and the fact that this piece is lined because that really gives some additional warmth, right? The length is so long and dramatic. I love anything that hangs below the knee. It could drag the floor and I would wear it. But we're not done here. We're going to add this denim patchwork bucket hat from Urban Outfitters, which even though this piece works so well for any time of year, Adding a hat to me always feels like the best choice for cooler weather. Now, if you need or feel like you need a little bit of additional coverage, throw on these cable knit mittens. Now, I purchased these from H&M and I want to say 2009, so they're definitely not available. But I've seen Zara do similar styles every autumn. So if I can find some, I'll link them below for you guys. This look is definitely pretty eccentric, but it feels like a really good representation of how I like to approach my style, which is just to have fun and create a theme. And this feels like something you would see in New York City in maybe the late 90s, maybe very early aughts. So look number two is a look that you should have already seen if you're following me on TikTok or if you've watched my YouTube short. It's this French Riviera inspired outfit that I put together that I really enjoy. Now at first glance, it probably is not an outfit that one would say would be appropriate for summer, but all the elements are working together really nicely to keep you cool and comfortable while still looking pretty stylish. So the top, right, this classic black and white stripe is so timeless, but with the relaxed fit and the lightweight fabric, you're getting nice airflow and comfortability. But you don't lose any visual interest here because that dramatic bell sleeve really billows and shimmies as you walk. But the pants here are the breakout star. So these are these half lace trousers I picked up from Zara last year. And what I like is not only is the fabric super lightweight, but because lace goes all the way up to the knee, you're getting nice airflow with every step you take. 
I topped this look off with these strappy black sandals from Zara as they just really elevate the look and keep it from being too casual. How do I make this look more appropriate for fall? With just one simple change. I swapped out the sandals for these golden goose trainers with these black and gold sequins and this pony hair in a leopard finish. We're still keeping that French, relaxed, easy feeling, but now this rich colorway in these sneakers just kind of ground the look and make it feel like the perfect option for probably the warmer autumn months. Look number three is a look that I wear multiple times per month and I have no shame. This is actually the first look I thought of when I thought to do this video. So first up is this viscose black and blue vest. I love the fact that it's a layering piece that is so lightweight and breathable. Plus, the floral motif on the back is gorgeous. I'm pairing it with these Zara Studio trousers in navy blue, and I like the asymmetric zipper and the really exaggerated wide leg. These are a very thin cotton, so they are perfect for warm weather, and I wear them all summer and do not suffer for it. We're finishing off the look with these platform Doc Martin slides with grommets, just to lift me up a little bit as the pants are pretty long and would drag along the ground. How do I take this look and make it a little bit better for autumn? So to make this look more appropriate for fall, I'm going to swap out my tank top and throw on this rayon jersey long sleeve top from Zara. Now, as you can see, it's pretty sheer, but the thumb holes and the long sleeves just feel like something that you would put on as the seasons are changing. But to really anchor a really easy breezy look, we're going to throw on these Calvin Klein 205 West 39 NYC boots in black and burgundy. Now these boots are extremely heavy and they bring a lot of visual weight, which really grounds this look and keeps it from looking too summery. The color scheme, the long lengths, and these boots are perfect. Do not shame me if you see me post this on TikTok and Instagram multiple times. This is a good look and I like it. Look number four. Now, if you believe that you should not wear white after Labor Day, this is probably not the channel for you. I break all the rules and do it with no shame. First up is this white linen backless top from Zara. Now for me, I really struggle in the summer months because I like to layer and I like pieces that are really eye-catching. But I find that I can't usually get the style that I want while not sweating to death. But this top does all the work. It's a lightweight, moisture-wicking fabric, but this geometric neckline and hem are so stunning. I paired it with these really classic pleated linen trousers, also from Zara, that reminded me of Katherine Hepburn, and I love the way that they billow when you walk. These gladiator sandals from Etsy complete the look for a really neutral, light, easy look. So how are we going to transition this look? Well, we're first going to throw on this vented linen coat from Zara as well. The color scheme matches perfectly, right? All neutrals. And while, yes, it's linen, it's heavyweight, so still breathable enough for warm weather, but the additional layer to help take this backless top and make it more appropriate for, you know, 60s. We're going to throw on this wave choker to add just a little bit of visual interest and to tie into these Rick Owens silver converse. So we are now fully covered. So we didn't change too much, but yet this look feels amazing. I know most people don't think linen for autumn, but we have to consider that it's still pretty hot and we need to be able to dress in layers for the chillier mornings and the cooler evenings. The last look is probably my favorite and one of my go-to ensembles for the warmer months. So we've got another Kingsley tank top with this asymmetric strappy detailing at the neckline. I've tucked that into these wool vented trousers from a brand called DGNAK by Kong D. I picked these up from Essence several seasons ago. 
I have not seen much from the brand, but if I can find them, I'll link them down for you. And again, we've got these platform Doc Martin slides. So how do we make a strappy tank top better for this crisp autumn air? We'll throw on this ruched arm warmer piece from Cause in felt. I love how versatile this piece is, as it can be worn multiple ways, depending on the look you want. If you want a little bit more drama, wear it backwards. But if you want a little bit more comfort, wear it the standard way. I put these mink slides on from Saint Laurent because the fur definitely does offer some warmth, and there's a very limited window to wear a piece like this. It's perfect for, again, those slightly chilly autumn days, but because it's still a sandal, you're not going to be able to do it when it's really getting cold and we're heading towards winter. If you don't like the idea of the first slide, then how about these combat boots from Louis Vuitton with a steel toe? I love these boots and they make such an impact. And even though the pant is still a little bit cropped, that boot and these arm warmers really give a heavier, cozier feel. If you don't want to do an arm warmer, why not try this flowy sheer trench from Zara? Is this going to keep you super warm? No, but it still gives the visual effect that we're leaving summer and we're heading for cooler weather. I love the layers that came out. It feels so effortless and it feels so chic. And again, guys, it's amazing how just a couple of pieces make such a tremendous difference. So guys, that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please let me know in the comment section down below which outfit you liked the most. Also, tell me, right, because I can learn a thing or two from you. What do you do to transition your summer pieces for autumn? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.